Welcome to a short tutorial video um, about changing the timing for your replay in and out wipes or just a normal wipe in general for your uh, broadcast graphics. Um, I'm using Expression um, and I'm not really sure how this works with Viz, but I know through Expression I use Dashboard, which is what you see here. Um, I make sure that my laptop or computer is uh, connected to the switcher um, uh, on the correct IP address so that way they all match and can communicate so they're basically on the same network um, that way I can edit the switcher and all of its contents um, via the dashboard here so you can see it's lit green here and you see the carbonite lit green um, all of these things I'm able to um, adjust uh, on the fly here you see all the fields, all the switcher modes, um, inputs, outputs. I can adjust all of these here through the dashboard um, uh, software here. So what we want to do to edit our time wipes uh, or the timing of our graphic wipes, um, we want to go to custom control here, which is what I have open. Um, I'm actually going to go to editor here, um, beta there in parentheses. Um, but um, you're going to see all your banks that you have. Um, and this is all set up for my banks. Um, you really only, I really only use bank one, two, three, and four. But um, let's go to bank two here real quick. We've got uh, a wipe one and wipe one with expression. Um, wipe one with expression, uh, generally um, you shouldn't, well I don't use it very often. I mean, obviously it's the same way you're using it. You've got these um, pause frames here that you'll be changing. But um, I'm going to play around with wipe one here. And you're not going to actually see the wipe. I don't have a, a monitor set up or recording capability for the, um, for the actual wipe that, you'll, that I'll be editing. So you're not going to actually see it um, edited. But you're going to see um, how you adjust it here. And then you can play around with it on your, on your end. So um, you've got these pauses that are um, preset into your, your wipes. And when, it go, when you go from sport to sport, um, these uh, these take IDs, which this take ID is take ID um, 30. So if you go take ID 30, say for your basketball package, um, graphic package, that graphic wipe um, may be a long wipe. The graphic itself may take like a few min, uh, not a few minutes, a few seconds for the actual wipe itself, the graphic itself, to fully complete. So that way you can it can cut under or undercut the. The, uh, the, the video that you're trying to show, um, whether it's a live video or a replay of that um, effect. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to go into these pauses, um, uh, generally the one right before your program cut, um, you'll, you'll want to, and program cut means basically the video that you're going to be transitioning to. So it's not actually meaning program, but it's the program that you're going to be, it's going to be the video that you're going to be putting out on program, all right? So what you need to do is edit the pause here right before it um, because this wipe on take ID may be longer than what 32 frame pause um, you know, adjusts for, which you can see that 32 frames amounts to about six seconds. Um, so we go edit event here and you're gonna see pause frames for 32 seconds. You'd go ahead and you adjust this to 25, replace, hit done, and you're gonna see 25 frames there. One minor thing to note, if you go in here and you adjust this and you just hit done you're gonna see that it's not gonna actually change you have to make sure you actually hit replace and then done and then you'll actually see it change so when I'm going through and I'm, I'm setting up my my switcher um, settings for my wipes and everything especially when I get into different you know Olympic sports and whatnot some of the wipes they just they don't match up um, they're not timed correctly to the pauses that are set up on the switcher um, now if you're if you've got you know presets uh, already set for each you know sport then you shouldn't really have to do this very often um, meaning that you don't have to adjust your your timing because you should have presets you know already set up for each of your sports but say you're coming into a, a truck show or you're coming into a, a broadcast control room with a switcher that you know doesn't have presets set up you'll want to make sure you take a look at this and adjust these to adjust the timing for your wipes. Um, replay wiping and out, same exact idea. You've got your program cut here, your pause frame before it, so you'll kind of want to adjust that um, as needed. Um, uh, both of these actually you'll want to adjust.
So what I do is I go through these pause frames and uh, I adjust them. You know, I'll adjust it, hit 20, replace, done, and then I'll play the wipe uh, on my switcher and I'll see what the timing looks like. Uh, if it looks like I need to lengthen the amount of the pause um, or, you know, decrease the amount of the pause, then I'll do that. Um, I'll just I'll basically trial and error in it is how is how I'm doing it now th this may not be the correct Ross way of doing things uh, but this is how I do it and this is how I've you know, been learning um, because I, I'm kind of learning on the fly here at a smaller division one college but um, uh, you know this is how I go about adjusting my timing the way I need to um, oh, definitely not 353 35 uh, frames um, it's gonna do that um, so this is how I go about adjusting my timing um, to get that to key up correctly with the uh, graphic wipe and then the program un undercutting correctly when you want it to. Um, something also to consider is that your graphics in the actual um, package, sometimes there may be uh, an extra pause um, in the actual graphic itself. Like, uh, for example, um, for my volleyball Olympic package, they um, this year they released some graphic wipes that have like a a, a, a small short white uh, white screen pause at the end of the graphic for some reason, or it just pauses at the end of the graphic and doesn't actually cut to the program uh, because that pause is built into the graphic itself and uh, that was messing up my wipes. It wasn't looking good. I actually had to go into the graphic on expression and take that pause out of there or shorten it or move it or delete it or whatever um, to make the actual wipe, you know, act the way I wanted it to, to actually animate. And so, um, you know, that's just something to consider if you've gone through and you've adjusted your, your pause frames here and you're still seeing, you know, your wipe not animate correctly and the program not undercut, undercutting the way it's supposed to, you may also want to make sure you take a look at your graphic uh, on the actual machine um, and, uh, and see if there's any kind of extra pauses um, or freeze frames added to the, to the graphic. Um, so with that said, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. 716-785-3178 uh, is my cell phone. More than happy to help out anyone that's in my situation, being that I'm a smaller Division I college. Um, I'm more than happy to help those smaller colleges out. I am a one-man show here pretty much with a student um, employment staff. So uh, I do everything here. Um, so I know a lot of Division One colleges that are smaller like mine, um, you know, they want to kind of, they want to deal with someone that has um, similar experiences um, to their own experience. And uh, I'm right around that same area. So if you have any questions, feel free to also email me at B-A-B-T, that's B as in boy, A as in apple, B as in boy, T as in Tom at uscupstate.edu. Thank you and have a good day.